Welcome to my vinyl collection video part one because it's probably going to be in multiple parts. So this first one, let's get into this. I got a decent collection. This first one is all time low straight to DVD 2. It was on their record store for only 20 bucks so I had to buy it. It's literally their greatest hits live version. It has all their hit songs. It came with a documentary, a DVD. We could watch the concert, watch a documentary of how they made the album. That's both the vinyls right there. It's just a split, which is pretty sick. So I'm glad. It was kind of like a steal, actually, when I bought it for 20 bucks. I'm like, that good of an album for 20 bucks? I mean, come on. It's pretty crazy. All right. We also have another one, Beck's Colors. Probably my favorite Beck album. It is a... Uh, indie store exclusive one. I found it at um, Toontown in Mankato and uh, Just look at this Beautiful look at that yellow Once I saw that there I instantly picked it up. I was like there's nothing else I can grab except for this one You know, we also have Beach Bunny's honeymoon album a, a great one uh, We found this or I started I found this at a local record store downtown in the music space of Otana and I mean, I had just listened to it and I loved it. It's got some use out of it. I used to flip this thing upside down. You know what I'm saying? It's got that cool teal on there. Absolutely beautiful. We also have Billie Eilish, When Do We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? I just picked this up like a month ago, I think. We went to Mankato and went to Barnes & Noble. And I found this one. And uh, I mean, look at this. It's orange. I was, I literally told my mom, I was like, huh. Imagine if it was like just a random color like orange or something like that. I know and it was orange So I was like, there's no way there's no way it was only 22 bucks, and I really like this album uh, So I had to pick it up you know what I'm saying? Especially if my mom bought it for me, so <laughs> All right Next up we got Billy Joe Armstrong no fun Mondays. I got this for Christmas a little gift It's just a standard black LP not the baby blue but, it's still a great album. Love the covers on it. I mean, just think, it's my favorite, one of my favorite artists of all time. Doing covers of just amazing classic songs. You know what I'm saying? It was absolutely beautiful. We also have Billy Joel, The Stranger. Probably one of my top 20 albums of all time. Just another standard Black album. Black LP, nothing to it. But absolutely beautiful. I think we found it at Garage Sale, like most people do. So, yes. Up next, we have Blink-182, The Tom Mark Travis Show. Gosh, this album is so good. It's just a standard black LP, but a double LP as well. It's basically a live set of everything from kind of Enema of the State and some songs before it even. And uh, yeah, it's just a whole like fun live old Blink, you know, making fun of each other album. It was only 25 bucks at an Amazon gift card, so I had to pick it up. Also, with that Amazon gift card, I picked up Bring Me the Horizons Post-Human, and you do not know how long I had to wait. I bought this in October, and I had to wait till I think it was like beginning of February, I finally got it. And it's, uh, came with a sleeve, the only one that I actually have in a sleeve. It's not a gay fold, it's only a single fold, it's just a standard black LP, but I do love it. It comes with some explicit stuff, actually. It comes with the original lyrics of Luden, and which is pretty crazy. I'm not going to say it on here, because I don't want to traumatize people. But yeah, probably my favorite Bring Me the Rising album to date. And uh, can't wait to see more of that post-human series as well. Alright, next up on finally The Bees, we got Bruno Mars. Uh, Dual hops and hooligans is what I call it. It's actually a... Uh, oh, no, it is hooligans. Oh, all right. And I was like, my sister was going to buy this for me, but then she ended up giving me a like a $25 gift card on Amazon. She's like, go buy whatever you want for my birthday. So I bought this it's just for her. And it's a good orange LP. Pretty, pretty beautiful. It's got some good plays on it. Definitely love it. It's my favorite Bruno Mars album, so... Obviously, it's got some plays. All right. Up next, we have Divide by Ed Sheeran. Now, I know what you're going to say. Why would this guy own Ed Sheeran after owning Bring Me the Horizon? Actually, fun fact, Ed Sheeran likes Bring Me the Horizon, I think. No, it's Slipknot. That's what it is. 
But uh, just a standard black LP. I had to pick this up. It was at the music space for only 20 bucks. I mean, it's a double LP. It's a deluxe edition. And I was just obsessed with it when I, like, I think it was December. So I had to pick this up. It's absolutely beautiful. Love it so much. One of my favorite albums. Probably in my top 50 for sure. And up next, we have Phineas. A uh, Blood Harmony. It's a um, Urban Outfitters exclusive. So we had to pick it up. I like the pale. It even glows in the dark like uh, the other Billie Eilish green one. So it glows in the dark. So it fits. It glows red. So it fits with the album. And even the pale fits with the album as well. I used to listen to this a lot. Not any, not really much anymore. But I still go back to it. And I still love Phineas as much as I used to. Alright, there we go. And then we got... The Foo Fighters, Medicine at Midnight, we had to pick this up. I think we went to uh, Target and bought the CDs. And then I think literally like a week later, we went to Target and bought the vinyl. So we had to buy, <laughs> we just ended up buying both. Who cares? Just a standard black LP. But it is a great album. I, I, I do come back to this a lot actually. More of the second side than the first side, but hey, who's to blame? Up next, we have, a, we have a couple Green Day records. We got Nimrod. I got this from a friend for Christmas last year. And uh, it's a double LP, gatefold. If you open it here, it's got the little yellow, the beautiful yellow. And if you flip it around, it's got the Green, Im or Green Day imprint on the back as well. So it's such a good album. It's very heavy as well. So one of the more nicer vinyls I own. I do play it, obviously, because it's Green Day, so I play it a lot. Um, another one is Green Day's Father of All. We pre-ordered it when uh, the single came out in 2019 and got it on February like 6th. It's so, like a day before. I was like, what are the odds of that? So obviously, we listened to it. We had an album party with a couple of my friends. Uh, the freaking Rainbow. I mean, I love This is probably my favorite vinyl color to exist. I mean, I just love the splatter. I love the rainbow. You know what I'm saying? It goes with the Peking Unicorn. Even though it's not Green Day's best album. I still love it. I'll still go back to it every once in a while. We also have Revolution Radio by Green Day. I picked this up at Toontown as well. And um, it was the only one I did not own on physical copy. Yet, do not own it on CD. But yep, there it is. Only a standard black album. But it's still Green Day. Revolution Radio was definitely one of my favorites. It's definitely got nostalgic because I went to the their concert. That was my first ever concert I went to. So I do love that album. Definitely better than most things they've released in the 2010s. Okay. All right. Heading into the J's, we got Justice. I just picked this up at Walmart. It came out. Uh, the only reason I got the Walmart version, I did like the Target kind of red version, but uh, it had the new song Haley on it, and I do like the blue album cover, and they really surprised me with this one. Giving us that gold. Look at that beautiful thing. It, online, it looked like actual like hoop brown, but it's got the gold, and I like it. And yes, I do listen to it a lot. I feel like a lot of the vocals on the actual vinyl are very, uh, I don't know. I, I just not a fan of the vocals on there. I would rather listen to a CD, to be honest. It has better quality, but hey, it's all right. I also have A Star Is Born. I got this from a friend a couple years ago for Christmas. And uh, if you were to look at my vinyl collection from two years ago compared to now, It'd be definitely different. I probably I think I had like three vinyls in 2018. So, uh, yep, it's got some cool like pictures. Just a standard black LP, but it is a double LP. Came with some pictures that I hung up in my room as well. Absolutely beautiful. I love this. Probably my favorite soundtrack to exist and one of my favorite movies ever as well. So next up we have Lee Greenwood. Somebody's gonna love you. I only added this. I don't have many old vinyls in here, it's just a standard black, but I only added this because of the story. My dad was like, oh, we found you a vinyl at a garage sale, and he gave me this, and then I thought it was pretty funny. I don't know. Anyway, 
Next up, we have Mac DeMarco. This old dog, I got this for uh, um, from the Music Space Botana. We played a live show there, and we picked out some vinyls, and he she just gave it to us for free. So I got this one for free, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. We also got, I also got a King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard infest the rat's nest as well. This one, I'm pretty sure, yep, just a standard black LP, but I still love it. It's Mac DeMarco's, this old dog. Uh, absolutely beautiful. We got Muses Simulation Theory. I found this for 10 bucks at Toontown, Mankato. And I mean, it's my favorite Muse album just because of the nostalgic history behind it and how much I just love listening to this. It's just a standard black LP. But hey, it's Muse. It's Simulation Theory. Only 10 bucks, man. Come on. And that is one of the best album covers to exist, too. Favorite albums of all time. My Chemical Romance, The Black Parade. I love this gatefold. I mean, look at that. So beautiful. So beautiful. Even on the inside as well. It's just a... They're just standard black LPs, but I'm pretty sure there is an imprint on here. This is definitely top five albums for me. Come on. Okay. Go. All right. I mean, just standard black, but also you got that black parade. I don't know if you can really see that in the light there. But look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And uh, I got this. Actually, my mom bought it for me. It was 30 bucks. We bought it on Record Store Day 2019, I'm pretty sure. Is it 2019 or 2020? But uh, absolutely beautiful. Yes. And then we also have no alarms. I got this because all I had to do was pay shipping. It was free. You know, it's signed. It's this underground band, and actually, they're pretty good. I don't listen to it much, but it's pretty good. It's even got a green LP. I mean, come on, bro. Come on. I just had to pick one up. If it was only five bucks for a signed LP, I mean, who knows how far these guys can get. One more LP here today. We got The Offsprings, Let the Bad Times Roll. And I pre-ordered this as soon as I heard the new single because that was absolutely beautiful. And Offspring is one of my favorite bands of all time. And going into this album, a lot of people did not like it for a comeback album. But when I listened to it, I absolutely loved it. Especially that baby blue right there. Stunning. Stunning. And I just had to pick it up, you know what I'm saying? Especially for the offspring. I didn't have any vinyls by them as well. Alright. Well, that was my vinyl collection video. Part 1. I'll do part 2 soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy.